welcome to video vlog number three. Today we're going to be converting my potato gun into a spear gun. So what we start with here is probably, I don't know, an oak handle from let's say a shovel or a rake. Just cut it off there. Now it's a heavy hard wood and you're going to need that if your spear is going to be traveling at speeds in excess of, I don't know, 100 miles per hour. And uh, for the tip of the spear we have this, I don't know, quarter inch piece of plate steel and as you can see I've used marker to trace out the pattern of the spear tip and all that's left to do is pretty much cut it out with a hacksaw and that takes a long time. Here I have my previously prepared weapon, my harpoon or spear if you will. I will be shooting from my potato gun. I wrapped it in a glove just for safety. But here you can see this quite uh, scary spear point here. Oh yeah, it looks dangerous. Anyway, I will be shooting today at a pumpkin, which will be sitting on this log. And as a backstop, I will have a Montreal Canadiens logo. So our target's all set up. Now all that's left to do is load our spear into our potato gun. Now I've taped around it with some duct tape and some green painter's tape just to give it a nice tight seal. All right, well that worked a little better than I expected actually. And uh, so well, I kind of got cut by my spear, but uh, oh my, that like the tip of the spear is absolutely driven into that log. Did some damage to that pumpkin. So I look over and I see this T-ball bat here, and I wonder, could it possibly fit in the gun? And lo and behold, it actually does fit quite perfectly. So I'm going to shoot this bat at the pumpkin. Oh! Okay, let's put this tipo bat into the cannon. It's now time to finish off the Montreal Canadiens logo. First, we will start with a potato. And then an orange, just for effect. Maple syrup, because they are a Canadian team. Ice cubes, because that's where hockey's played, on the ice. A banana. Just because, like, you know, like bananas. And marshmallows. Then to top it all off, just a bit of flour. Whoa! Bit of flour. And that, my friend, is the proper treatment of a Montreal Canadiens logo.